All right, guys, Megan here. This is part three of the series on how to lower your estrogen levels and raise your testosterone levels in doing so. So make sure you watch the first one, which is like the summary. It's like a long ass video where I explain all the four steps. Step one, which is stop aromatase. Step two, which is black estrogen receptors. Step three, which is turn estrogen into something completely different, right? That is less powerful. And step four, remove estrogen. That's coming up next. This is part three on binding estrogen, right? You want to turn it into a different compound. I don't know if you guys are familiar with chemistry. You can take a compound that's completely, that's deadly or has a negative function in the body. In that case, I say estrogen because even though it's good, it's too much of it is bad for us. But anyway, you want to take that compound, bind it with something else and nullify it, right? Turn it into something uh, that has a different potency or a different effect. So in our case, obviously estrogen, once again, I don't want to go through the same thing over and over again. Uh, your body takes testosterone and turns it into estrogen through the enzyme called aromatase. Once you have a lot of estrogen in your body, your testosterone levels are going to go down because of sex hormone binding globulin going up and because of the negative feedback system, you know, with the brain. Long story short, you want to get rid of estrogen. So, uh, not completely, but, you know, you want to lower it. So here are some of the foods that contain nutrients or compounds that can bind into estrogen and turn it into something completely different that doesn't have a negative effect in your body. Uh, it's gonna increase your mood, it's gonna increase your energy, your drive, your aggression, your sex drive. Uh, it's gonna lower your water retention, you're gonna lose fat, believe it or not, because a lot of estrogen means a lot more, a lot of belly fat, a lot of fat around your body, depending on how your body stores fat, and that's gonna produce more aromatase and make your testosterone levels go down even more. So it's a vicious cycle. So anyway, um, broccoli contains DIM, right? So when broccoli is being digested, it's not just broccoli, guys. I'm just putting you guys random foods. You can go on Google. That's why I put the parentheses here because you can go on Google and type top 10 foods high in magnesium or selenium and pick whatever you think is the most powerful for your body or for your taste buds. So I'm just giving you guys examples. Simple. Broccoli breaks down into DIM. Actually, it breaks down into endo 3 carbinoli, something like that. And that breaks down into DIM. I'm not going to pronounce that long ass name. And that's a very powerful estrogen, you know, block, well not block because it binds to estrogen. So broccoli, uh, you can look at kale, uh, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, uh, the cruciferous family. Number two, and mind you, this information is, I only, I'm only writing down the things that are proven, the things that have been proven to work, especially on cancer patients that have to control the estrogen levels to stop the growth of tumors. Um, but it's, once again, it's gonna help us bodybuilders. Uh, number two is seeds, right? Flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, they're high in magnesium. Next is you can eat nuts, walnuts, cashews, they're very high in selenium. So you have DIM, magnesium, selenium, Google that, you write top 10 foods, find the rest. If you want, I can put it down in the description or the comment section. Uh, like I said, me and I spent a lot of time finding all these sources and make sure they were proven to work. Uh, garlic, right? High in vitamin B6. So you can Google top 10 foods high in vitamin B6. Next, you want to Eat foods high in iodine for your thyroid function. Um, potatoes have some of those. Uh, sushi wheat, nori, sushi wheat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, liver has a lot of vitamin A. Vitamin A is also proven to uh, bind to estrogen and turn into something else. Uh, and then you have omega 3s, obviously, in fish oil, salmon, and things like that. So I'm trying to make the video as short as possible. Here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of nutrients that have proven effects on lowering your estrogen levels. But once again, you don't, you don't, you don't want to just isolate one part of the four steps, of the four steps. You want to use all four steps all at once, right? You don't want to just black estrogen, you don't want to just um, nullify estrogen if you still have a bunch of aromatase lying around in your fat cells, you know? So make sure you combine all four strategies in the lower your, your estrogen medium program in order to see faster gains in your diet, lose fat quicker, and look a lot more dry, you know? And you gotta understand guys, bodybuilders that take a lot of estrogen blockers, if you look at the illegal estrogen blockers, a lot of them use a lot of these nutrients and put it all together. So these are proven to work guys. Make sure you eat them in high amounts, all right? So find a way to add this into your diet. I'm out of here. Hope this video helps. Team 3D. Then uh, this was me at 162. Well, at the end of my last cut, look at me trying to look all sexy, guys. Look at this. No, I'm not looking bad. Not looking bad. This is me when I discovered car back loading. Saved my fucking life. Look at this. I put on size. I was at 175 here. Put on size and maintained my six-pack.